In this video, we are going to learn how to create a Facebook ad and how to select a pixel when we are looking uh, to bring traffic, to draw traffic from Facebook uh, medium to our website. How do we do it? There are three ways to go about it. A, remember the first video where you can just create an ad by clicking on boost post button uh, on your Facebook page timeline. That's the first way. The second thing is you can go to your ads manager and create an ad. And the third thing is you can actually create a Facebook ad inside your events manager. So uh, there are so many ways to create an ad. For example, by going to Google and searching for Facebook ads manager, that's what I see. By clicking on go to ads manager, it is going to take me inside the splasher dashboard where I can create a Facebook ad. So uh, like I said, there are multiple ways of creating a Facebook ad. I can also do it by clicking on this create button inside my events manager and create an ad. So since I've taken you to the Facebook ads manager, I'm going to create an ad here. By clicking on this green button, uh, it will uh, open a dialog box where it is giving me few options like uh, uh, creating a campaign objective. If I want to have a traffic on my page or uh, more likes or get more messages or get more video views or get more app install if I've got a mobile app or if I want to have traffic on my website, if I want to have a catalog sales or a store traffic given I've got an e-commerce website, I can choose a campaign objective. In this case, I'm going to choose conversions here. By clicking on the continue button, the first thing I'll be required to populate is give my campaign a name. So I'm going to give my campaign a name as Hisham Campaign 007. Okay, so there you go. Now the special ad categories. Previously, you could create Facebook ads for politics, for uh, uh, jobs, uh, you know, uh, uh, buy and sell marketplaces, for uh, uh, creating loans, uh, uh, forms, or if you belong to a finance uh, uh, institutions or financial institutions. I mean, there are so many categories you can choose from. Uh, and you could create an ad. But now Facebook has uh, a new requirement that, uh, you know, is mandatory for you to select four of the options given inside the special ad categories. You cannot create a Facebook ad, for example, for politics or for social issues or for housing or for uh, credits or employment without selecting these options. I'm going to click on the next button uh, since uh, we've got nothing to do with any of those four special categories. In the next section, uh, you, you are required to give your ad set a name. So Hisham ad set one. Uh, since I want to get traffic on my website, I'll be selecting website. Now, there you go. Uh, Facebook pixel is selected. If your Facebook pixel is not added to your ad account or if your Facebook pixel uh, is not created or if your events inside of Facebook pixels are not populated, you will not see this option. Many people on YouTube create videos about uh, uh, showing you how to create Facebook pixel, but they do not teach you how to select Facebook pixel when creating an ad on Facebook and drive traffic based on that parameter. Now, since my Facebook pixel is created, I need to uh, select the conversion. Um, I can do it by clicking on leads. Uh, that's where my home page was. Uh, you know, it was tracking the 20K around people in the lead section. And then of course I need to populate my budget here. So budget here is, I'm gonna choose lifetime budget and I'm going to select $20 here. Facebook will give me an alert here. It says that you need to at least select $31. So I'm gonna go with the recommendation. I'm going to select $31 here. Uh, the start date and the end date is selected. I'm gonna take it all the way to, let's say nine days or eight days. And then it says that you need to increase your budget based on the days I extend. So if I uh, go back to the previous date, uh, I, uh, you know, I should be fine with selecting uh, the budget that was given to me. So in this case, it was, a, I guess, Thursday, March 3rd. Okay, so now I need to select my audience. I can select my lookalike audience. I can select my 
custom audience. I'm going to create another video that will define custom audience and look like audience. But giving you a quick go through about the audience, what you can do is you can select people based on your location. So I want to target people who live in, for example, uh, DHA Islamabad, since I live in Pakistan. So I'm going to select DHA Islamabad as a place here. Uh, there you go. By selecting DHA Islamabad, I can also select uh, the radius. So what does this mean? It means that uh, the pivot location and the radius I specify, for example, if I specify 31 miles from my um, primary location, from the location I've selected, people living within this radius, uh, they will see my Facebook ad depending on the budget I put. So I've selected 31 miles. I mean, it's pretty much it's taking me out of the city as well. So, uh, for example, if I only select 10 miles uh, on the right hand side, it says that I can show my ad to uh, range between 500 to 1.5 K, which is pretty decent, right? Uh, next thing is I can select the age and I can select the gender. If my uh, ad is specifically targeted to gents, then I'll be able to select mail from the uh, edit section. Or if it is uh, for women, I will be able to select women. So in this case, since I want my ad to be shown to everybody, I am going to click the all option. It is also giving me some suggestion to uh, improve my detailed targeting. I'm going to bypass this for now. And uh, I can also select the audience based on certain parameters, demographics, interest, behaviors. For example, if I want my ad to be shown to Samsung Android users who use Facebook, by clicking on this behavior button, by clicking on the browse button and then navigating to behaviors and then clicking on mobile device user and then there you, there you go. I can select people who, uh, you know, uh, use Facebook uh, using Android devices. There you go. I have selected people who use Facebook using Android uh, devices. And uh, then, of course, I can also uh, select multiple options. I can select uh, people based on Apple, based on Windows, based on Android. Uh, by clicking on all mobile options, of course, it will be able to show it to the all mobile options. Uh, you can navigate this, uh, you know, in detail. Also, if you want your ad to be shown to the people with uh, certain interests, for example, if I click on uh, fitness and wellness and those who like running, uh, who are into weight training, I can select the option and show my ad to these people. So in this case, I'm including the people who are into weight training and who are Android users and they have Facebook access. Uh, then there's a language option and then the placement option. I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, keep it as it is, as recommended by Facebook. Now, the last thing is I need to click on uh, the next button to create a conversion ad, to create the ad within my uh, ad set. So there are three things, a campaign, an ad set, and an ad inside an ad set. So I'm navigating now to the third option, which is creating an ad. In this section, I'm supposed to choose a page, a Facebook page that is, and then of course, create an ad. So uh, first thing is my page is already selected here. And uh, the page I want to advertise here is being Guru. Now I need to create my ad. I can choose a single image, I can choose a carousel, or I can choose a collection. If I want my ad to be uh, shown uh, with my website address and my custom image, I need to select a, 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 an image here. So by clicking on add media, by clicking on add image, by the way, I can add a video as well. And video ads actually tend to do better than the images ad. But uh, uh, I have uploaded an image of mine, I'm going to select this. And then it is showing me the options to crop it, to, uh, to, to make sure that it looks okay. And uh, I do not have any problems with this. By clicking on the optimize option, I think I'm fine with the options already recommended by Facebook. Now, one last thing here is I need to uh, populate my website here. And of course, the primary text as well as the headline. Looking for, looking to hire 
a freelancer for your job for your task there's your question mark headline uh, find the best freelancer from Pakistan that's it you see on the right hand side in an ad preview not only it is showing the primary text but it is also showing the headline as well now there's a call to action I can choose multiple buttons here and of course if I click on get offer uh, one would be able to get to my website if they click on get offer I need to populate my website address here so in this case my website address is workchess.com workchess.com there you go now on the right hand side where it shows the preview the ad shows my uh, custom uploaded picture the heading the title and a get offer which will take user who sees my ad uh, within the 10 miles uh, radius vicinity uh, they'll be taken to my website and uh, that's about it I can also choose uh, an event you know based on my Facebook event not the Facebook pixel event and uh, let's see if I'm missing anything uh, it says that verify your changes you cannot use the URL with HTTPS so I'm gonna remove the HTTPS here and let's see if it is fine so uh, there's one last typo here I think I should be good to go everything looks fine for now by clicking on this publish button I'll be able to publish my campaign and this is it so I click on publish button and uh, there you go it says multiple items published uh, one campaign one ad set and one ads were published and if I click on view details it says the status is complete uh, I'll receive an email that says that my ad is under review and once the ad is uh, uh, passed and it is uh, you know good to go it will be shown on my being guru page that's it thank you folks